Gilas. Gilas, the Philippine national basketball team. Hello, Marcus. How you doing? Uh, man, uh, you're now a Filipino? Uh, it feels pretty good, you know, that the whole process is over and that everything worked out for the best. Um, I'm still uh, trying to get to, you know, learn the culture a little bit more. Uh, I think when we get back, when this conference is over, I'm getting a, um, a translator so she can teach me you know, Tagalog. To go, yeah, Tagalog, Tagalog, so I can try to communicate with everybody a little bit better. But so far, you know, everything is good. I can't complain. Uh, and so, uh, how's the adjustment so far? How are the your teammates? How do you, what do you think about them? Uh, I think my, I mean, ever since I met them, you know, ain't nobody changed. Uh, they same guy since I met them from day one. Everybody's always positive, and uh, everybody has the same goal as wanting to win. And you know, I, I can't complain that. Uh, you know, I give these guys the utmost respect, and they give me respect also. And I think that's a big thing. Uh, you know, coming into a new team, so uh, I'm pretty happy with the guys we got. You're from the U.S. Uh, you have a different brand of basketball, and you're immersed here. What peculiarities do you find uh, with Philippine basketball? Um. As far as you know, American basketball goes, I think it's, it's, it's starting to get better uh, over here. I mean, they, it's not that different, you know. Uh, you know, a lot of their plays is based on like what the NBA does, so that kind of rubs off on uh, you know on uh, the whole different culture of basketball. It's starting to become like very similar, so that's a little, it makes it a little easier for me to get adjusted uh, to the play. In fact, uh, Philippine basketball is criticized to be very NBA-ish and it's a problem in international games. Um, international NBA is two different, you know, it's two different types, you know, of play. I mean, NBA is more individual skills uh, and European is more team-oriented. I mean, uh, they, you know, they base it off of five guys and, you know, you know, it's all about plays and all about executing. And the NBA is more of when it comes down to the end of the game, it's all about individual talent. I saw you in the scrimmage yesterday over there at the Astrodome, and I, I see you uh, motivating uh, Japheth. Uh, you always, uh, you know, talking to him, giving him high fives and all that. You have a band happening right now, you and Japheth. Oh, oh, you're about Japheth. Oh no, Japheth is a. He, see, the thing about Japheth, he's a great player, but he don't get reminded enough from uh, I think the coaching staff. Uh, he's good. They always point out what he does not do. So, you know, he's sometimes he thinks too much trying to, you know, always do the right thing. And I just motivate him when, you know, when he does good or bad, let him know that, you know what I'm saying? And you can do a bit, something bad and in five seconds you can do something great. So as long as you, you know, have the upside of looking positive, then, you know, positive things will happen. What do you think uh, the potential of this kid uh, so I potential is beyond um, beyond the roof. I mean, the, the kid can jump, he can run, uh, you know, he can shoot. It's all about him building confidence. When he has confidence, I, I really don't see nobody in the PBA that can stop him at all. And uh, I just think that the right, you know, the right motivator just got to be with Jaffa. But uh, the sky's the limit for him. I mean, I mean. The way I see some of the things he does in practice and some of the things he does on the court is beyond what I've seen here in the PBA. So, I mean, if he really, really, really wants it and he gets motivated enough, then, you know, he can play. I think he can play anywhere. Would, you say, here. would you say this stemmed out from his, uh, he was in the U.S. and he didn't get enough playing time so much well? Uh, well, you know, just like I said, maybe it's a motivation thing. He needs to be, you know, I think he needs to be motivated in a different way than some people know how to motivate him. I mean. And it's funny because my first year I played overseas, uh, my whole motivation left too, and I like kind of forgot how to play basketball because you know people didn't know how to motivate me. But you know through the years I understand how to motivate myself, and uh, that's what I kind of see in Jaffa that he needs, you know, just a little more kick of positive, not negative energy. In the PBA, I'm. I, I don't know if it's just me, but I, I think you've been roughhoused there. You're, you're always uh, getting fouled and the referees are not calling it. Uh, it's like, is this like a Shaquille O'Neal thing that you're big, so they're saying, you know, you're not... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, as, as far as the whole fouling thing goes, I mean, 
You know, me, like when I first got here, I, I was watching PB games and I seen how rough they play and I see that certain things that they do I'm not used to and it's, it's not legal from, you know, yeah. from the NBA standpoint or the European, European style of play. Yeah. Um, but here, I guess that's what they're, you know, used to playing. This is how they play here. So, I mean, the refs ain't going to call nothing that they're not used to seeing. So, I just had to adjust to uh, the whole atmosphere of the way they play in. You know, I mean, whatever happens on the court, it happens. And I know, I feel that it's not, no, it's not, nobody's out there trying to hurt you. They're they all trying to win. And that's just the way they was taught how to play basketball. So you can't really knock somebody who's been playing basketball, who's now a pro here. You can't really knock somebody who's been playing like that for the last, you know, five, whatever, six years, whatever, whatever. You know, that's how they play. And that's you've how they're going to continue to play. You've been fined for 5,000 passes for... I don't know, was that really a foul, but how do you feel about that? Hey. <laughs> hey, you know, I mean, Ridiculous, I mean you know, it, it came off because uh, I was trying to, you know, stick up for my teammate because in a certain way, they kind of, the PBA guys kind of feel like they can, yeah, yeah. you know, kind of try to, you know, show that they're stronger than our guys because our guys yeah. all came from college and, you know, they're, young, they're still yeah. considered yeah. amateurs, but, you know, you got to let them know that they're not going to push us around and I think that whole... Yeah. Call. I don't. I don't mean whatever. It was a. It was a. You know the commissioner called a foul, or flagrant, whatever. I mean, I, I really don't care. I mean, I. You know, it happened, and it's over. And now, I mean, it benefited us in a way because now I don't see no guys really doing what happened in that thing game. Thing yeah, yeah. They they don't do that no more. So, I mean, the five thousand was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, they're saying that. That. I think Jason Webb said that that the I don't doubt it. The, without doubt, it this team will not win games in the PBA. Mm, well, I never I never doubted that because I've seen the guys play games without me, um, and I've seen what they can do. It's all about the big question was how they were going to react to the PBA players because they have so much respect for them because a lot of them you know grew up watching them play, and now for them to go out there and feel like they're on their own playing against them kind of that's the only question I had to make sure that they still knew that they can play basketball and they can do what they can do no matter who they're playing in front of and uh, I guess it showed against uh, Power Wave. Yes, yes, the, the poise to, to be able to win it. Yeah, everybody was settled down, everybody knew how to win and uh, they stuck it out and I was proud of them more than anybody and I'm just happy that you know the whole media question oh you guys can't win without doubt it and all the and PBA teams saying oh they only went in because they got, you know, 6'11", whatever. <laughs> now that they show that I didn't play not one minute into the game, and we still and we won the game. Uh, personally, I think it's all, you know, it, it's, it's an empty talk, you know. Uh, it happened with the NCC. We had three naturalized players. We had Chip and Jalan, still more, a still and more, and we only have one naturalized, naturalized player, and everybody's, uh, you know, they make a big fuss about it. Well, you know what's crazy is like this. If, if I mean, do you think they would be making fusses if if, if I was on their team? No, yeah. they wouldn't. You know, I mean, they have to find a way to point the finger uh, and try to figure out why we're winning. But it's not just me. You know, it's our system, the way we play. We play a little yes. bit different than the PBA style of basketball. It's and, really different, man. It's yeah, really it's, different. it's different. And then right now, you know, the PBA is not used to it, so it's hard for them to pick up on it. So, I mean. Good thing that we're only playing in this conference and we don't keep playing because obviously, uh, yeah, you, know, you might pick up some. They'll start picking up what we're doing yeah. and then, uh, so, uh, on that note, will you be playing in the next conference or you'll be going to Turkey and all? The um, other well, right now it's the whole scheduling thing. I think we have too much, uh, we have that big tournament in May, end of May, um, the Champions Cup here, and I just don't think, I, right now, I don't think that, uh, we have the time to uh, play in the third conference because uh, we have that uh, big tournament. That's like that's going to be like two weeks long, and I know we can't take two weeks off from the PBA. So I mean, I mean, just like I said, I, I don't, I don't see it happening. I mean, it wasn't nothing finalized yet, but I don't see it happening. With with the way things are going with your team, do you think it's still? Do you think Coach Rayco will still get PBA reinforcements? Um. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I think he might still try to get like two or three guys. Just like I said, I mean, the PBA is one thing. International basketball is a whole different story, you know. I mean, obviously, we start to look good in front of you guys' eyes, but, you know, we, we're playing against teams like Iran who got yeah. 
three guys who's 6'10", 6'11", 7 feet. You know, I mean, it's, it's totally different. I mean, the guards are bigger, everybody's bigger. Um, and, you know, our team is, you know, obviously we're good, but, you know, international play and then trying to get to where we want to be, we got to be kind of more than good. We got to be, you know, great, so. Well, uh, there's this criticism uh, that Smart Gilas have very short guards. What is your take on that? <laughs> yeah, we got short guards, but I mean, I haven't, you know, since we've been in PBA, I haven't seen nobody stop them yet. I mean, they haven't, they can't really post them up because I'm there to help. And I mean, as far as on the perimeter goes, you're not really going past them or anything or shooting them. I mean, the guys are quick. You know, they make up, you know, in a lot of different ways. Like JV, you know, he, he plays defense. He, you know, he gets up in you and you can't, I mean, if you're not posting them up on a box and isolating them down low, you really, you know, shortness doesn't really mean nothing. Because on the offensive end, he's still doing his job. He's still what he's doing to have to do to, uh, to make his win. So, and the same goes for, you know, Mark Broca. He He's one of the fastest people I've ever seen on the court. So, I mean, where we, where, the world. Yeah, where we lack up, you know, we, we make up for. Yeah, yeah, so it doesn't really matter. So what are our chances? Uh, not that I'm trying to put pressure on you, but uh, is, it, is it really possible for us to qualify? Because people are saying, you know, we're looking at four more years for this team to really ripen. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we're going to do the best we can do, always, all the time. So, I mean, as far as anything else goes, I mean, well, I mean I, I've seen a few teams. A lot of teams we've seen, they're not fully, you know, fully loaded. They don't have all their guys. So it's hard right now to determine. But, I mean, right now, we've been, look, we, you know, since I've been with the team, we're looking a lot better than we have been. You know, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Since I've been with this team and, uh, you know, Obviously, it's starting to show now, so hopefully the other teams <laughs> ain't getting no better, and we are getting better. So, you know, I mean, our chances, you know, I think our chances are pretty high right now. I mean, as long as we get some, you know, two or three more guys that's a little bit bigger who can uh, help rebound yeah. and, you know, have someone to come Box in for me. Team, yeah, yeah. But as far as, you know, I think we're definitely on track to, to accomplish our goal. Okay, on a personal note, what's, what's on your MP3 player right now? Uh, well, as far as music goes, uh, yeah. uh, I listen to a lot of different, it depends on the date, but uh, I listen to, you know, Jay-Z, uh, uh, I listen to Beyonce, I listen to, uh, you know, Trey Song, I listen to a lot of different people. I really don't have a, a favorite. Okay, food, uh, any Filipino food you like? Um... As far as, well, I only ate Filipino food one time, and that's when we were in Bahrain. Oh. Because I won the Filipino families uh, uh, for this, uh, to come eat at their house. But that's it. I mean, I really don't eat that much. But I need to start, I guess. Oh. Yeah, well, you know, there's always a beginning. Oh, yeah. Um, I'd like to thank you for this interview, man. Uh, any message you'd like to say to your fans, or the supporters of Gila? Uh, just want to give a shout out to. Uh, you know, obviously my wife and my, my kids, but I would just like to thank the whole Filipino community for accepting me and being nationalized. And uh, hopefully uh, I can uh, live up to uh, the standards of being a, a Filipino citizen to help this country out and to get, you know, the glory back uh, in basketball as, you know, it once was before. That's pretty much it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Gracias.